structure before. This is South City's Compton Hill Water Tower, standing at 179 feet tall and built in the late 1800s. This structure is the third of its kind in St. Louis, but just one of a few left in the world. And tonight, it is in danger. The structure is starting to crumble, and the city is working to find a solution to save the historic tower. New here at 6, our Nathan Vickers is live with those efforts. Nathan? That's right. You used to be able to go up the water tower, just right up those steps and then all the way up to the top. But the tower has been closed for the past few years because of those structural issues. Now, there has been a renewed community push to preserve that tower, and this month that effort has taken a pretty significant step. The tower over Grand Street. It's just a, a landmark. Captures the imagination. Anyone who's grew up in the area, you know, they recognize the tower here on Grand. For 125 years, the Compton Hill Water Tower has been a landmark in South City. It's an identity marker. It's it's just magnificent as as tall as it is. It's one of three remaining standpipe towers in the city that was used for pressure regulation at the turn of the century, along with the Bissell and Grand Street towers on the north side. It's a giant freestanding valve of sorts. Michael Allen is the executive director of the National Building Arts Center. He says it's rare to see these kinds of towers anywhere. There may be fewer than a dozen left in the U.S. In 1913, the city could have just knocked it down and moved on with you know everything, but instead it's captured the imagination. That's why Tom Burnham and others who live near the tower have been sad to see the pieces of brick and stone chipping off the building, worsened by harsh winters. For safety reasons, the tower's observation deck has been closed for four years. Some of the stone, uh, not just small pieces of it either, you know, big chunks of stone have fallen. You can see a lot of the concrete is starting to decay and chip off at points, and so, you know, it shows significant, you know, damage and erosion. But a community effort and fundraising push to preserve the tower have gained momentum. This month, the city of St. Louis has collected bids to do an architectural study on the building to find out what it will take to fix it. It's going to take community fundraising, preservationist groups coming together and uh, pitching in. And that could, that could take some time, but I think people will end up back in the tower taking in that view in the next few years. The city says that selection process could take two to three months. They don't build things like this anymore. But people in the area have been optimistic about its future, encouraged by the community-wide fascination. South St. Louis landmark um, of the first order. Now, the community group that's been behind some of this uh, effort to preserve the tower, they've already been doing some preliminary fundraising. And, of course, they won't know how much it'll cost to fix the tower until that architectural study is done. But in 1999, a restoration project cost around $19 million to fix the Compton Hill water tower. Reporting live, Nathan Vickers, First Alert 4. No doubt it'll be a